Hi, this is Joel Mayer. Here is a Chinese lantern made with paper plates. Take a cardboard tube. It should be a little bit wider than a paper towel tube. Draw a line around the tube at about 2 or 3 cm or 1 inch from the edge and then cut that piece of tube. Take two small plates and glue the piece of tube with white glue in the center of one of the small paper plates. This piece of tube will be used to support the LED candle when the lantern is finished. When the glue is dry, paint both sides of each plate in a beautiful bright red. Red is a lucky color in the Chinese culture. If necessary, paint several coats of paint to hide the white of the plates. For a nicer finish, you can add a coat of acrylic varnish on both plates you've painted red. Take the tube from which you cut a piece and place it in the center of the second plate, the one without candle holder. Trace around the tube and cut out the circle. Take a large sheet of bright red construction paper and cut a fairly long strip. The width of the strip depends on the size of the lantern you want to make. I cut a strip of 15 cm or 6 inches wide. The best way to assess the length of the strip of construction paper is to turn the strip onto itself to form a tube, place it inside the rim of the plate and adjust it until the tube has the right size. Then, mark the edge of the paper to determine the length of the strip of construction paper. Add 1 or 2 cm or about half an inch in order to be able to glue the two ends of the tube together. Cut openings of the desired shape in the strip of construction paper. In my case, I decided to cut out rectangles, leaving only small edges for maximum brightness. But feel free to create your lantern with the shapes you prefer. Cut a piece of cellophane of about the same size as the rectangle of construction paper and glue it in place with white glue. If you don't have cellophane, use tissue paper. When the cellophane is securely glued in place, form a tube with a strip of construction paper. Use close pins to hold the ends together and let dry. Cut a piece of gold ribbon to form the handle of your lantern. Glue the ends of the ribbon on either side of the hole in the plate. Then put white glue in the rim of the plate with a candle holder and place the tube with the cellophane inside the rim of the plate. When the glue is dry, put white glue in the rim of the plate with a hole and glue the other side of the lantern. Put the plate with the hole underneath so that the white glue does not drip on the lantern. When the glue is dry, you can glue a gold tassel to the bottom of the lantern. In my case, I simply glued a fringe ribbon around a small piece of cardboard tube and I attached that to the lantern. I will show you a little trick to insert the LED candle in the lantern. Insert a paper towel tube through the hole at the top of the lantern until the tube is in the candle holder at the bottom of the plate. Now, slide the lit candle in place. When you want to turn off or replace the LED candle, do the same. Insert the paper towel tube and turn the lantern upside down to pop out the LED candle. To print the document with illustrated instructions, click on the link below the video and visit the AnimaPlates website to find other fun and educational projects.